Hello everyone, I'm off into London today. I'm keeping my voice down because Ollie's still asleep upstairs. Um, just getting my bag ready and just thought I'd show you this. This is now always included in my bag. It's got two different types of anti-back, an extra mask as well as the one that I will be wearing for the day, um, and two types of hand wipes and then a little tester of perfume in there. Oh and a glasses cloth as well. <laughs> this is now always in my rucksack. Happy COVID. Okay, well, that wasn't the best journey because there was a signal failure, half the trains terminated, but because it took so much longer, I now need a wee so unbelievably badly. So literally just praying that there are toilets at this place. Luckily, I'm not late yet. I still have about eight minutes before my fitting is due. Oh my God, I had no idea. I had no idea that there's toilets down there in Leicester Square. Absolutely saved. Oh my God. So I've just come out of my fitting, hence I've got a different mask on. It's the one I had to wear for my fitting. And the costume is everything I wanted it to be and more. Like I had to almost stop myself from crying when I looked at myself in the mirror. It's like they delved into my brain and just picked the perfect costume I would want to wear eight shows a week. And speaking of eight shows a week, look where I am. Cinderella.com. I mean, having your face on the front of a theatre is one thing, but having your face on the side of a theatre when you're playing the title role in the new Android Webber musical, I mean, it's just a bit much. I'm crying under here, by the way. <laughs> I've had my eye on this perfume for a little while. Um, because, now hear me out, the reason I love this perfume is from a place called Floral Street and I bought some testers, like a little packet of testers, and one of them smells like, you're going to laugh at me, one of them smells like the bit in Spaceship Earth in Epcot when you go through the fire. So I'm going to go and get it so I can forever smell like I'm in Epcot. So I got really worried then because I looked at the sign on the door for opening times and it said Monday we're closed and I was like no no it's a Monday that sucks but the door was open and there was a woman sat at the counter and, uh, on the inside and so I plucked up the courage and was like excuse me are you closed and she was like no come on in so I got it and also if you get the 100 mil you got a free travel size in any flavour <laughs> fragrance that you wanted so I got, um, I can't remember what it's called, something rhubarb. So I went in and tried them all. So Sam at Floral Street, you are amazing. Thank you for helping me out. Happy publication day to me. We are in an alternate universe. I mean, I'm gonna have to go in and have a look. Oh my God. What? <gasps> Polka dot ones. I am now home and in my pyjamas and doing a spot of editing and then writing for the rest of the evening. It's almost eight o'clock, so I've got some time. Oliver and I are off to Thorpe Park tomorrow because we have been invited by Thorpe Park. Um, so it is a gifted trip, but Oliver's never been to Thorpe Park. And the last time I went was with the Les Mis cast maybe in 2013, 2014, so it's been a very long time since I've been as well. So yeah, that's where we're off to tomorrow, so can't wait for that. I just wanna shout out Floral Street again, and I'll show you what I actually got. So I'm just on their website now, and they are a British perfume brand inspired by London, vegan and cruelty-free. They use sustainably sourced ingredients, and their packaging is completely recyclable. The one that I got today is Arizona Bloom. It's the one that smells like Spaceship Earth. I think it does anyway. Comes in this little recyclable box. 
Da, da, da. So this is the one that I got. This is Arizona Bloom. And as I said before, because I got the big one, um, I then got a free travel spray, um, which I got in electric rhubarb, which is fruity and delicious. So if you're looking for a sustainable British London inspired vegan and cruelty free perfume brand, Floral Street is the one. I swear I'm not sponsored or gifted. They have no idea who I am. I genuinely went in and bought this today after buying the, this is the little tester set that I went and bought. And funnily enough, this is their new perfume. This is like the one that's just come out. So it didn't actually come in this tester set. It just came as like an extra one that I didn't even order. It was one that was just put in as like an extra sample. Um, so it was just by chance that that was the one that I ended up loving the most. So Floral Street, love them. I'm not sponsored, I'm not gifted, but if they would like to sponsor or gift me something, then I would not be opposed to that, so. But until then, I will just keep buying their perfume because it's great. Something happened today. Shortly after that last clip in London where I was filming the mask vending machines, I got to Shaftesbury Avenue and turned the corner onto Shaftesbury Avenue just in time to watch a van drive really close to the pavement where a woman was stood. As the sort of the small bit passed her, the bigger bit hit her in the head. And I sort of ran over to her and remained distanced and was like, oh my God, are you okay? And she was a bit sort of bewildered, but she was like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just gonna go and sit down for a second, get some water. So I stayed with her for like a minute or two just to make sure that she was all right. And I asked if she had anyone to call who could like come and get her or come and find her. And she was like, no, I'm, I'm on my own, but honestly, I'm, I'm all right. And I was like, oh, I'd, like, I don't really know what to do because I can't like get close to you. But just as I was going, two other people turned up and they took pictures of the van and like the license plate because this guy didn't stop. I don't know if he realized he hit her or not, but I didn't really know what to do in that situation, especially because of COVID. So I was like, I literally cannot like sit with you. I have to like stay away from you. It was just odd. It was just really odd. She was okay. Um, I think she was just a bit shocked. Bizarre thing to witness. I'm gonna go away and edit this video that you are now watching on the same day I'm behind a video. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.